welcome to this Children's Liturgy of the Word for Families. My name is Candida and today we're celebrating the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Now, have you ever been on a boat? And if you have, was it a big boat or a small boat? Was it a fast boat or was it one that moved quite slowly? I've got a boat here, a little boat here with an oar. Now, I've actually been on a boat like this and it can be a little bit wobbly, especially when you're trying to get in and out of it. And in today's gospel, we hear about a boat trip that Jesus went on, which filled his disciples full of fear. We'll learn what happened shortly. But for now, let's light our candle. As we light the candle, we remember that Jesus is the light of the world. He's like a light shining in the darkness showing us the way back to God because all of us come from God and all of us are trying to find our way back home to God. So you're going to need your right hand and then we say from my head to my heart from my shoulder to my shoulder I belong to you God our Father Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's do it the grown up way as well. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We all make mistakes and bad choices. Everyone does. But when we say sorry to Jesus, he can help us overcome those mistakes. So let's all say together. If I have hurt anyone by what I have said and done, Jesus, I am sorry. If I have ignored someone or made them feel unloved, Jesus, I am sorry. If I have been unforgiving and full of anger, Jesus, I am sorry. Today's Gospel comes to us from St Mark and it's a direct continuation of what happened last week. Now, if you remember, last week Jesus was teaching us about the Kingdom of God and he used a couple of parables to try and teach us about that. Now, we already know that today's Gospel is about a boat trip that Jesus went on with some of his disciples. And I've already told you that something really scary happens. So my questions to you today are this. First of all, what happened to make that boat trip scary? So what happened to make the boat trip scary? And my second question is, what was Jesus doing at the time? Listen very carefully and see if you can spot the answers. Alleluia, alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, praise the Lord. As we listen to the story, let us praise him for his glory. Alleluia, alleluia, praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. So you need to write them and we say God be in my head, God be on my lips and God be in my heart. With the coming of evening Jesus said to his disciples 
let us cross over to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him, just as he was, in the boat, and there were other boats with him. Then it began to blow a gale, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that it was almost swamped. But he was in the stern, his head on the cushion, asleep. They woke him and said to him, Master, do you not care? We're going down. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Quiet now, be calm. And the wind dropped and all was calm again. Then he said to them, Why are you so frightened? How is it that you have no faith? They were filled with awe and said to one another, Who can this be? Even the wind and the sea obey him. The Gospel of the Lord. So, I had two questions for you today, didn't I? The first one was this. What happened to make Jesus' boat trip scary? And the answer is... A storm came and the wind began to blow a gale. And the wind uh, and the waves were breaking over the boat, weren't they? And threatening to sink the boat. And my second question for you today was this. What was Jesus doing at the time? And the answer is, Jesus was asleep. Did you get that? But why was Jesus asleep? And what eventually helped them all, saved them. And how does that help us live our lives today? It's time to become Gospel Detectives. So, our first question was, why was Jesus asleep? Hmm. Now, let's look for some clues. Here's a clue. Listen to this. With the coming of evening. Ah, say, so it was towards the end of the day, wasn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, here's another. And leaving the crowd behind. That reminds us that he'd been really busy that day, hadn't he? He'd been busy teaching people. He'd been teaching people about the kingdom of God. So now we know Jesus was asleep because it was the end of a really long day and he was feeling probably really tired. And then what happened? Well, a storm came, didn't it? Listen to this. It began to blow a gale and the waves were breaking into the boat so that it was almost swamped. So let's take a moment to imagine this. So this is our boat. So the boat begins to move from left to right and then it starts rolling around on the waves and the waves get bigger and deeper bigger and deeper and bigger and deeper. Now let's imagine the water. So the water might be slapping into the side of it and then it starts splashing over the side and then as the boat goes down oh, a big wave comes and crashes over the top of it. My goodness, when I think about it actually feel a bit scared. Do you? Well, the dis 
disciples were certainly scared. Here they were in the middle of a big expanse of water. They couldn't see the land. It was getting dark and they were in the middle of a storm. But storms are quite noisy times too, aren't they? There's loads of wind noise and, and rain noise and, and wave noise. We're going to sink, they cried. But what was Jesus doing? Well, we've already established. He was asleep. The disciples were terrified. And yet, Jesus was sleeping. So they woke him up. Don't you care, they said to him. We're going down. And then, the most remarkable thing happened. Jesus stood up and he told the wind and the sea off, almost as if they were being naughty. He said, quiet now, be calm. And all became calm. With just a few words. Jesus brought a great calm and peace to the winds and the waves and all was well. The disciples were amazed. Who can this be? they whispered. Even the wind and the sea obey him. But you and I we know who Jesus is, don't we? Jesus is God, the Son. Jesus is totally human and totally God. And because of that, everything in the world obeys him. You know, Jesus is still calming storms today. Sometimes there are storms in our life and not necessarily storms where there's real wind and real waves, but really difficult times nonetheless and very scary. These life storms, if you like, make us feel very afraid, just like the disciples felt very afraid that boat. But Jesus has an important message to tell us. He says this, do not be afraid. And why? Because Jesus is with us. We don't have to feel afraid because Jesus is with us and he is all we'll ever actually need. And that doesn't mean that Jesus will always take away our problems. Oh no. Sometimes you and I, we need to experience our problems so that we can learn to trust in Jesus' love and care for us. And when we trust in Jesus, he gives us this most amazing calm and peace in our hearts. Even if we're in the middle of a storm. So, remember this. Whenever you feel afraid, trust in Jesus because we're always safe in his hands. Let's finish with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending us your only son Jesus to save us and show us the way. And thank you for your never-ending love, 
care and forgiveness. Please help us to turn to Jesus whenever we feel afraid. And please help us experience Jesus' peace and calm, even when we're in the middle of a storm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it for this week. Remember, whenever you feel afraid, all you need to do is call for Jesus. He will come and give you peace and calm in your heart. Just trust him to be there with you. And he will. This week's song is Here I Am Lord and the reason we've chosen it is because it begins with a line I the Lord of sea and sky So, Jesus, as we found out today is certainly, most certainly the Lord of the sea and sky and everything in between you can find a link to the song just below this video. May God bless you and your families. Keep talking to Jesus and I'll see you next time.